Did you know that plants also sweat like us? This process is called transpiration. But why do plants transpire? For the same reasons we sweat, to cool themselves off. They regulate their temperature via transpiration. And obviously, the rate of transpiration is higher during the day when the sun is out compared to night time. Transpiration occurs via pores on the surface of the leaves called stomata. Stomata is primarily involved in the exchange of gases in plants. But transpiration without any control would dry out the plant completely, won't it? So plants have layers called cuticle that help the plant retain water. The thickness of the cuticle changes with environmental conditions. Plants native to areas with little or no rainfall typically have thicker cuticles than plants in moist habitats. Other than cooling off the plant, transpiration also develops tension in the transport tissue called xylem, which allows long-distance transport and distribution of minerals via water. Another process that is similar to transpiration is guttation. Guttation is the exudation of xylem sap through pores called hydathodes. Guttation is most noticeable when transpiration is suppressed and the relative humidity is high, such as during the night. Now let's talk about the differences between guttation and transpiration. Transpiration occurs through stomata, while guttation occurs through hydathodes. Rate of transpiration is higher during the day, and rate of guttation is higher during the night. The rate of transpiration is higher at higher temperatures, and the rate of guttation is higher when the humidity is higher. That's all for now. Bye.